Oh, here's one. Here's one. Ooh, I gotta follow, follow, follow. That's a new one. I don't, uh, I always talk to you guys in the morning when we're leaving, but today I got a lot of prep to do. We are going after, oh, if I don't break my pole, we're going after something a bit bigger than a bass tomorrow, and uh, it's my first time ever. So I think I bought <laughs> the right stuff. I bought a size 60 Quantum because it was on sale, it was the cheapest thing I could find. I bought a Bulldog Rod Predator Series Musky Innovations, seven foot medium heavy. No, just heavy. Seven foot heavy. And I only bought a few baits because I don't know if you've ever been musky fishing, but if you have, you know, this cost $26. So yeah, wasn't spending a whole lot. I just got a few things. Ow, hooks are sharp. I bought one of these, don't know what it's called. Go ahead and comment below what it's called. It's a bulldog maybe, I don't know. I bought a musky mayhem tackle bucktail, what does he call it? It's a double showgirl, all black. Uh, and then I got myself a single bladed bucktail, a little bit smaller than the other one. And it's got some, some green in it, chartreuse blade. And then I just went with the old fashioned daredevil. Um, that's all I got, because each one of those is about 20 bucks, and mm, mm, when you got nothing and you're buying from scratch, that's not cool. I also got 100 pound braid. I didn't get a leader, so I have to wait to tomorrow to really get anything tied up for myself, but I'm excited. That's why I brought you guys in here tonight. I got a lot of boat prep to do quick. If you've been musky fishing out there before, go ahead and comment below how much you liked it, if you hated it, if you still do it, if you got addicted. I wanna see what you guys think down there. When you're used to pitching a bass jig under a dock or something, like, that's a workout. It's gonna be a workout tomorrow, boys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hurt. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video, it'll give me good luck. This worked, this worked for bow season. I asked you guys, I was like, hey, make sure you like this video and I'll shoot a big buck today, and it happened. So make sure you like this video right now and we'll catch some muskies tomorrow. That's how this works. If you don't believe me, you haven't been on YouTube long enough. That's how this works. So anyway, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna bounce you guys and we'll be into tomorrow. I don't know where I'm gonna start, but let's just get to it. You know it's been too long since you've been fishing and there's cobwebs on your trolling motor. All right, we're going to a lake we've never been to before to target something I've never targeted before. In wind, I would usually never fish. Let's hope for the best today. This thing's a sailboat in the wind, and we're gonna be fighting a 20 mile an hour wind all day. This lake doesn't have big bays or anything, so we're gonna have to stick to the southern end of the lake. The wind is really gonna dictate our day, but hopefully it all works out for the best. So, let's go. Just like that, we are musky fishing. I must be fishing for the first time in my life. You're ready for a sore back. <laughs> I kept the receipts, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's one. Here's one. Fish on. Oh. Oh. No. Oh my God. That was like at the worst spot for me to set the hook. Oh. Let me see. What? What would that be? A thirty? 
Yeah, Probably 30, 30. Yeah, 30. Oh, I, I was about to say, ooh, the sun's shining, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, here comes one. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not looking too bad for the day, though. No. For the water being as cold as it is. All right, hey, what's up, guys? We're back at the house already. It just got too windy on the lake. The gusts were getting up to 30 miles an hour. You couldn't see anything underwater, and uh, we were just getting getting hungry. So we decided to get off the lake, but we're going right back out. So this video continues. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that because I didn't film much while I was getting off the lake and stuff. I just kind of left you guys hanging out there, but we'll be on a different lake, musky fishing. Hopefully we can get one in the boat. Musky fishing, I'll tell you what, just having follows makes for a good day, and we had four follows today. So hopefully we can get one in the boat and make it real exciting. But seeing that fish chase that bait, oh my god, so much fun, so much fun. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's just head over to the lake. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta follow, follow, follow. Under the boat. Yep, that's fine. That's a big fish. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh my god. Hold on. Don't don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Don't touch it. Okay. Okay. We're good. What do you need? We're good. What do we need to do here? <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that fish was on it hot. No, there's a huge bone. You'll feel it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Got it? Yep. Okay. Dude, that's a toad. Here's I'll this. grab my phone. Here. I got it already on. Okay, come over here. Yep. Forty, forty-four, forty-four. Holy shit! Okay. All right, now what? You got it? Yep. Okay. Dude, nice. Oh dude. my god, man! Yes. Oh, that's insane. Oh, she was all over it too. Nice fish, dude. Nice, healthy fucking fish. Nice! <laughs> yeah. yeah, man! Oh my god, and it happened on the 8th? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> if you were going too quick, you oh. slow down. Yeah. You just oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. All 
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the house. What an incredible two days of fishing. This was awesome. To go out and see five, we might have seen six muskies in two days, hook up on one and then boat one, I find that awesome. When you just see that fish following your bait, even if you don't make it all the way to the figure eight, when you see them come and they turn off, it gets your heart going, it gets your heart pumping. And that was so much fun. So special, huge thank you everyone. Type below thank you uh, to Garrett for essentially being my guide for free. I didn't even give him any beer or anything. So I owe you something uh, for helping me get my first muskie ever. Absolutely. So everyone, make sure you shout out him below. Thank him for what he's done for me for the last two days. And uh, yeah, what I just, I, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. My first muskie, 44 inches. I wish we'd have got a few more measurements, but it's so hectic when everything's going on and you're trying to keep the fish alive. Oh, crazy. But I wanna end this video with a few tips. Some fishing for muskie, if you're deciding to go out, some of the lessons that I've just learned from going out for two days and some filming tips that have changed my channel forever. Uh, I'm gonna start with fishing tips. If you're interested in muskie fishing, uh, they're ridiculous. Musky nets are so expensive. The cheapest one that I had seen at Farm and Fleet was like $78. It was more than I paid for like my reel, my line, and one of my baits combined. Find that ridiculous. However, after experiencing it with what I thought was a big bass net, nope, you absolutely need a musky net absolutely need a musky net. Uh, and then the second tip I would share with you if you're just getting started, uh, definitely get an eight foot rod. I only got a seven foot rod. It makes figure eights more difficult. And when I'm using that big double bulldog bait, it's fairly hard to cast. So if I was just starting over, if I went back two days and was buying stuff again, I would 100% have bought a musky net and I 100% would have bought an eight foot plus rod, absolutely. Those are the two biggest things that I learned musky fishing over the last few days. So that's, that's what I got for fishing tip. That's, those are the biggest lessons that I wish someone would have told me when I was buying stuff to go out for this, for this trip. So the next set of tips I wanna give you guys are filming tips. If you're interested in filming whatsoever, uh, I learned two major, major GoPro tricks that have changed this channel and how I film forever. I'm gonna start with looping. On a GoPro, there is an option called looping. It's different for every model where the setting is, but it has absolutely changed the way I fish. How I used to fish is I would start recording whenever I felt like I was gonna get bites or right away in the day. And I missed a lot of action every time that I tried to film for you guys because I wouldn't be recording because I'm trying to save that card space. I mean, I have a 64 gig card, but that only holds I think like two hours of footage, if that. So it was really difficult to decide when to start and stop recording. With looping, that is completely gone. You can literally record all day on looping. I have mine set to five minutes on my chesty. And what it does is I start recording and it starts that filming process. It gets to five minutes, it starts filming that sixth minute, and then it loops. Boom, so you got a five minute file at all times that just keeps recording over itself and over itself and over itself. Mind boggling. So when you stop it, it just saves the last five minutes of footage that it has and then you start a new file, a new loop. And you can just do that. So you start recording at the beginning of the day, two hours later something happens. You stop it, you only have a five minute file you gotta go through. Absolutely life-changing i'm telling you guys for hunting this is this is going to apply for hunting more than it does fishing i think but regardless absolutely life-changing so if you haven't already and you want to film your stuff you got a chesty you just want to film you can literally film that whole battery's worth of footage on looping and only end up with a five minute file absolutely absolutely awesome uh there are different options if you don't feel like five minutes is long enough for example uh, hunting season, I'm gonna set it to 20. There's a five, there's a 20, there's a 60, and there's a 120. I'm gonna set it to a 20 minute loop 
for hunting season. And I'm just going to be able to leave that GoPro on recording behind me the entire time I'm in the tree stand. Uh, and I can do that because of batteries. This is the second filming tip that I can give you guys. I luckily have Ryobi tools, 40 volts, that come with a charger that has a USB port in it. That USB port can power a GoPro, I'm sure, for 12 hours. I mean, I the... GoPro I had on the side of the boat, I left it on the entire time that we were out on the lake for those four hours. And I think I used one bar of battery on that, on a 2.6 milliamp hour. Uh, so you can quite literally record all day. Caveat to that is make sure you don't have the battery in the camera. If you have the battery in the camera while you're doing an external battery, the GoPro will try to charge and discharge that battery as you record. So you, you'll see it, if you plug it in with a battery in, you start recording, the charging symbol goes away. It uses the battery power to record. And then when you stop, it starts charging the battery. And that creates a lot of heat. And when you have it sitting in the sun on the side of a boat all day, it would overheat that GoPro and you, it, would, it would shut down. Um, so to circumvent that, you take the battery out of the GoPro, only have it hooked up to that external power, and it, one, it will eliminate the heat issue, and two, it will keep running off of this battery the entire time. So I quite literally will be able to get an entire sit in a tree stand this hunting season with one of these batteries in my backpack with a cable running up the GoPro. And I think that is life-changing if you want to record your stuff. And I don't know why no one has told me about these tricks. Anyway, I've been rambling too long. I hope you found these tips helpful. I am still just in awe of what's happened over the last few days of fishing, and I want to give one final thank you to Garrett. I appreciate your time, and whenever you want to go out, make sure you hit me up. But this is where I leave you guys. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Comment below some tips, tricks. <laughs> it's kind of turning into a tip and trick video. Uh, make sure you comment below any tips or tricks you guys have, uh, any f suggestions for first-time musky anglers. Uh, I absolutely suggest if you haven't gone after muskies, go get on a lake that has a lot of them and cast baits all day. Because it is exhilarating when you get that bite, that first fish to follow, uh, totally worth it. So anyway, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the water.